Right, here's a quick exercise in hand sketching from a typical product <coughs> mobile phone. So, here we go. I'm not a keen fan of rulers, but uh, it does help to give yourself a bit of a, a centre line. First thing to do is very lightly sketching out a rough outline of your product. So looking and laying out, change the screen on this one, we'll make it a small keyboard screen. And then looking at your hand, notice the thumb's got only two joints. And if you look at it holding an object, it tends to, when you're holding it, it tends to overlap slightly here and here. There's a clear area there, so you're going to hold the product like that. So you're going to get these little shadows just here. Notice the index finger doesn't quite curl over, but the, the other three fingers do. So there's the thumb. And the thumb sort of goes into the wrist. So. That curve at the bottom of your hand there. Now the index finger is going to stick out slightly. And the other fingers are going to. They, and they tangle on each other as well. So there's the look phase. So we've looked it and we've laid it out. Let's get that curve in there. Catch the edge of that. So now I'm going to go for the lining in. Nice, confident. And the idea is to, to go for straight lines, just try and stylize the hand. And then fingernails. Give them a little bit of a reflection. So we've looked, we've laid it out. And we've lined it in. Not a cartoony toad you can hear in the background. Children are watching TV. And then looking for where the drop shadow is going to be. So this is going to cast a shadow onto there. The phone's going to cast a shadow. With curves around the wrist there, and there's a bit of a curve on there. And I'm just going to use a little bit of cross hatching. If you've got a grey marker, you can create a nice drop shadow with a grey marker. Keep that shadow the same tone all the way through.
And there we go. But I like on the screen. 